Yes, my peoples, it's T, and today we are back with another Apprentice Series 17 reaction. So yes, we are on week four, episode four, and we're at a point now where we're a few weeks in, so we, we're getting to kind of understand a little more exactly what the candidates are about, who's a stronger link, who's a weaker link, and all of that jazz. So yeah. As I said, week four, let's see what's in store. Let's see if they have any more. Yeah, let's get it. So Simba put himself this week as the PM, um, forward, forward to be to be PM. Um, also, Bradley put put himself forward too, um, as in his trade, in his profession, he's used to buying materials in bulk as well, apparently. And also, Shazia did also put herself forward. Um, and the both of them did, mentioned that they can't read maps um but in the end everybody voted for simba and simba was the pm of that team um yeah so this week was a interesting week obviously as i said last week it's one of my favorite tasks it's a task of where you have to go around a city the city this time round being brighton um on the south coast of england and having to buy a bunch of items and get it for the cheapest price possible essentially um now some interesting points in this in this series. Uh, um, this week, I'm going to go through probably quite quickly and just touch on some very specific specific things. So um, there was a, a point where the teams, um, oh, I, forgot, I forgot what the name of the team, it may be Affinity to be fair, where the team with um, all of the, all of the, the girls, is, well, most of the girls were essentially on that team and, um, and they were speculating for ages around what is a 45, what is 45 in relation to the specification for the record. Um, and I, I know these, these girls, are, I know they're not 10 years old. Um, I know that, that records existed in their time. <laughs> so it's it's crazy. It's crazy. That was, um, yeah, there was a lot of really just strange, strange moments from that team, to be fair. Um, and then there was a point where Reese, Reese in the taxi, he just cut off. The lady on the phone was saying, um, the rose, the rose is not a flower. It doesn't exist. Um, it's a fossil and Reese completely disregarded that, cut that off and took the phone and started asking about some other stuff. Again, Reese, Reese this week for me was, um, quite frustrating as well in his, in his actual ability to listen and make, um, the right decisions as well. Um, and then Mark at one point took control of the negotiations for the record. Um, they they already agreed on, you know, one of the girls will be taking the lead on the negotiations of that task, um, of that piece of item, sorry. But Mark just stepped in. Um, he got it for 150, which he could have got it for, for cheaper to be fair. Um, but yeah, I felt it was a little bit, a little bit rude. Obviously everybody is vying for the, the, um, the top spot. They're vying to kind of get this investment from Alan Sugar. So they want to, Try to throw their throw their weight around and, and make it seem like they're doing something. So I get it, I get it. It's a dog eat it's a dog eat dog world. But I'm glad that the girl at the end. Um, I, I'm saying I'm saying the girl. Cause I, I forgot. I, I'm forgetting all their names. Um, I will I will learn the names eventually. Just 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 so much of them at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm glad at the end the girl was very good on re reinforcing um that point um to let the, the leader lead it basically and not to interject. So that was very strong uh, leadership there, um, which is good. Um, and yeah, Avi, 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 as I said last week, oh my God, Avi for me, I said it last week, I'm saying it again this week, Avi is an absolute joke, man, he's a joke, man, like what, first of all, why did he interject, Rochelle was starting, Ros Rochelle was starting the negotiations for the body part, um, and Avi just decided to interject out of nowhere, and coming with a very silly, stupid, and disrespectful offer, half the price, eighty pound, um, which made the guy very defensive, very offensive, um, and lost all the rapport straight away. Um, so they they got that for one sixty in the end, which is um, obviously no discount on that price. That was just the price that he set because of the, the disrespect from Avi. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not even gonna get into Avi um, yet because wow, well, yeah, he's he's frustrating me a lot, um, and then. There was a good a good idea from Bradley to kind of there was an item I forget which oh, again I forget which item it was it was like a, a carving um, which was normally goes for, for seventy five to ninety pound and Bradley got it for twelve pound just because he made an offer like do you have any that's here available now quickly that we can use that you may not need or want so he got that very good for twelve pound which was a, a good price to be fair 
Um, and yeah, Reese Reese on the team. To go back to Reese Reese on and that team, there was very very silly in relation to the the roles. There was a so literally blinkered, just blinkered on the roles is a flower. Let's just go around to every single florist in the whole of the city and just ask them for a flower that doesn't exist. Um, it's very very hell bent on that. Just literally ask questions and listen listen to the florist, the people that are actually the professionals in that. The florist has said, we never heard of this before. Obviously, you've seen Apprentice in the past. You know that some items are going to be something, you know, a bit of a, a hazard. Can be can be something else. Um, and yeah, Avi, again, back to Avi. He made the decision to, to, get, um, to get a product directly from the shop as opposed to not going to pick it up from the farm themselves, which could have saved them a lot of money. The task is, the whole task is, is to get things for the lowest price possible. Um, so yeah, Avi just seems so useless and he doesn't fill me with any confidence at all. Um, I feel like, I feel like he, he's just, he's winging it. I feel like he's just literally winging it and he doesn't make good decisions. Every time he speaks, he doesn't, he doesn't sound convincing to me. It's just like, it's like he's literally just winging it. But let's see what happens. But I feel like he will go home at some point because yeah, he's, he's frustrating me. Um, and then, the um the team oh, I forgot the name of the team but the, the, the team that had no strategy the team basically the team that was ran by Denisha which I think is Team Apex um the, their sub team had zero strategy there was a, what what were they doing no strategy at all I know with um the ever team with with um obviously led by Simba they actually had a plan that like, let's start you know on the edges and come into the city in the middle where the end the end line is um and get all the the, the products that way um. And then um, Shazia, Shazia, oh my God. Again, I say this every week, but she's so frustrating. Like she's, she's, she's special, man. She's special. It's, she came in with a, with a price of 350 straight away off the bat, no bartering, just 350. Um, and then, and then, and then they completely missed the ever item, just ignored the truck in the flea market. Just didn't see it. very poor there, but, um, 70 pound, the ever team, 70 pound for the wig. Wow, the ever team got it for twenty seven fifty and they 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 paid seventy pounds more, hundred pounds for the week. Crazy, crazy. The one good thing they did do though, they stole the um barometer, which was a bit cheeky, but yeah, Mark negotiated that, which is not too bad. Um not too bad. Yeah. And then um yeah, Reese Reese actually um negotiated quite poorly for the body part as well. Um, end up paying more than the other team. There was a funny part in the boardroom though with Alan Sugar who says, and roses are red, and violets are blue. These ain't flowers, but I might fire you. That was that was hilarious by Alan Sugar. Um yeah, that team was shocking anyway. That entire team was shocking. Um and yeah, Denisha was actually shocked when she heard that they didn't use their phones much to even call around and, and you know see where things are, try to find out where things are. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, but yeah, the fact that the ever team had a, a strategy where they actually went to the outskirts first, made their way into the center of the city, um, just makes the most sense. Um, and there was another joke by Alan Sugar where he says, "You needed, you needed, to, uh, you needed to cast, um, to, sorry, to cast a small body part, but you should have chosen your brain." Um, I don't think a lot of people clocked onto that, but that was hilarious. Um, <laughs> uh, to Avi, I think it was. Um, but in the end, as expected, um, Apex lost. Um, they they only got five items and they got some wrong items. Whereas Affinity got six items, one wrong item, but they ended up with four five two, um, eight four hundred fifty two pound eighty nine pence. Whereas Apex were five hundred eleven pound and fifty pence. So big difference there. And Simba as as PM won, and Denisha lost as her first time as PM. As she 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 and she was actually told to be PM this week as well because she was so poor last week, as well. Um, it was quite tough as to who I thought should go home, in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure Denisha brought back the right people into the boardroom. She brought back Mark and Reese. Um, but to be fair, Mark was poor. Um, Reese, Reese, I don't know what he was doing this whole episode, just making poor decisions, not listening. But Denisha, she, again this week, showed a lack of leadership. Literally, her team had no strategy, whereas Simba, from the get-go, they had a strategy. Um, so big difference there and of course ultimately because of that second chance failed it again and Denisha was the one to be fired 
um, which is not surprising at all. Um, she had her chance. She got fired and she did not show anything to say otherwise. So I think ultimately it was the right choice. But Reese for me was a close second. Um, but yes, next week, next week is a marketing task. Um, ma marketing is always interesting for me. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, and I can see from the highlights, it's going to be lots more drama as usual. But yeah, that was The Apprentice. And that was my thoughts and my take on this week's Apprentice. Um, but yeah, catch you on the next one. See you soon. Let's get it.